Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna from NurseStudy.net and now we're going to be doing 15 quick nursing tips and facts. Enjoy. And if you would like one of our free audio books with NCLEX questions on ACX or Audible, the links are in the description below. Enjoy the questions. Crackles versus wheezes. Crackles, RALs, are heard in conditions like pneumonia and CHF, while wheezes are common in asthma and COPD. Decorticate versus decerebrate posturing. Decorticate, arms flexed toward chest, indicates brain damage above the brainstem, while decerebrate, arms extended outward, suggests severe brainstem injury. Rule of nines for burns. The head is 9%, each arm is 9%, each leg is 18%. The front torso is 18%, the back is 18%, and the perineum is 1%. Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS, measures eye opening, verbal response, and motor response. A score of less than or equal to 8 indicates severe brain injury. CO2 narcosis in COPD, too much oxygen in a COPD patient can suppress respiratory drive, leading to CO2 retention and acidosis. Hyperkalemia ECG changes, tall, peaked T waves, widened QRS complexes, and possible cardiac arrest. Hypokalemia symptoms, muscle weakness, fatigue, dysrhythmias, and decreased deep tendon reflexes. Left-sided versus right-sided heart failure. Left-sided causes pulmonary congestion, dyspnea, crackles. Right-sided causes systemic congestion, edema, JVD. Signs of increased ICP. Early signs include headache, vomiting, and altered level of consciousness. Late signs include Cushing's triad, hypertension, bradycardia, irregular respirations. Parkinson's disease triad. Bradykinesia, rigidity, and resting tremors. Trousseau sign versus Tvostek sign. Both indicate hypocalcemia. Trousseau's causes carpal spasm when inflating a BP cuff while Chvostex causes facial twitching when tapping the cheek. Therapeutic INR levels. Normal is 0.8 to 1.2, but for patients on warfarin, therapeutic INR is 2 to 3. Autonomic dysreflexia. A life-threatening condition in spinal cord injury patients, T6 and above, caused by noxious stimuli, leading to hypertension, headache, and bradycardia. Hemorrhagic versus ischemic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke involves bleeding in the brain, while ischemic stroke is due to a clot blocking blood flow. Meniere's disease symptoms. Vertigo, tinnitus, hearing loss, and a sensation of ear fullness due to inner ear fluid imbalance.